very special video on the music of Reverend Gary Davis. And it's a very special project for me because he was my first guitar teacher and I learned, needless to say, a lot from him. And his music is wonderful to play and to study because it's very unique. He's a unique player. I mean, he was an ordained minister, so he played a lot in church, so we developed this whole way of playing melodies and chord melodies, which of course we'll get into. And he also played, he was a street singer for a while, and he also played a lot of ragtime songs, novelty songs. So his repertoire was very, very wide. And the techniques overlap, and I don't really separate his guitar style from his gospel guitar style from his ragtime. And that's why I didn't separate the songs on these videos, on this particular video, instead of just highlighting the ragtime or just the, the religious material. And what, I, what, I, what I'm going to present here is some of the religious songs, some of the ragtime songs, some novelty songs, and some of his most popular tunes that you might have heard of and some of my favorite tunes that I learned from the lessons. And as we get into each song, I'll talk, of course, about the techniques in great detail. And I think you'll see from song to song, a lot of the techniques overlap. And once you get some of the basic chords and picking syncopations, you'll see it from, from tune to tune. And just like when I was studying with him, I was very young and I would go to my lessons and tape my lessons and listen to the tapes throughout the, you know, during the week. And at first it was difficult trying to get some of the funny chord positions that I thought was funny at the time and some unique syncopations and, and certain sounds that he got. And then after a while, once I learned a few songs, you start getting your ears used to his music and it gets easier and easier. And I think that's what is, what's going to start happening in this video. And his music is unique in the sense that his songs are really beautiful arrangements. And he, even though he played them the same way each time, every time he performed the song or recorded it, he always improvised on it. So, for instance, when you hear Hesitation Blues, he maybe heard six different recordings of it. Each verse will be slightly different, and that's the beautiful part of his music. It's a nice bass to take off of. So, in, in many ways, to me, it's, it's very early chord jazz, chord melody playing. There's a lot of blues in there, a lot of ragtime. And from his playing, it's really easy to make the jump if you want to listen to a lot of the blues players like Blind Blake and... Blind Boy Fuller and you go that direction or even the harder blues like the Mississippi Delta you can learn from the techniques from Davis really make that jump 
Even though his music and the techniques you learn, you can apply to so many different styles, it's difficult to put him in the, in the scheme of things in terms of blues or even jazz. It's just He was just a unique player that developed his own unique way of playing based on his needs, based on playing in church, based on playing on the streets. So he's not really a blues player in the sense that we think of Robert Johnson or Charlie Patton in that sense, although of course you can apply his techniques. And what you heard in the opening of this video are excerpts from my lessons with him. Because what I would do, I was, I was very young, I was about 12 years old, I used to go to my lessons with him and tape all my lessons. And then during the week I'd go study the tapes. And after a while it got a little easier learning from song to song. And throughout this video I might play little excerpts from the tapes because uh, I think it's very interesting to hear him teach. And there really was no magic to it and I really wasn't any kind of special player. Basically, I caught him at a time of his life where he had nothing better to do than teach me guitar. He had a little modest success. He was living in Jamaica, Queens, and I would just go over his house and sometimes the lessons would last four or five hours and he'd sit there and teach me, let's say, hesitation blues for two or three hours, lick by lick, back and forth. And like I said, he had nothing better to do than just to teach me and he had a lot of patience with me. And so after, you know, you get someone that great teaching you in that way, it's hard not to learn. And uh, he, even though he had his own unique way of playing, and like I said, as we get into the, each song in the video, I'll explain the chord positions and his picking techniques, the fact that he played with two fingers, and with most of us normal mortals, we'll play with three fingers. Um, you don't have to play with two, so we can uh, use his, approach his playing in that way. But um, it's, there was no magic to the lessons. It was just sort of back and forth. And I think if we break the songs down, that's what I tried to do here. I just wrote them out in its nice, solid arrangement form so you can learn these tunes and then see where to take off in terms of the improvisation and then piece by piece we'll get into the technique. So I think by the end of the video you'll certainly get a glimpse of the world of Reverend Gary Davis and really get some nice insights into his techniques and playing. So when you go to the record and you hear that big sound he gets and, and it's oftentimes confusing sounds if you're trying to learn it, this way I think you'll be able to go to the real recordings of him playing it and, and uh, get some good insights and learn how to play it and get a jump start on it.